Savannah Chrisley, the daughter of Todd and Julie Chrisley, criticizes their inhumane treatment in jail, alleging that corrupt guards are punishing them for speaking out by turning off the air conditioning and locking the ice machines, leaving them to suffer in 100-degree heat. Savannah Chrisley, the daughter of Todd and Julie Chrisley, has denounced the awful and violent treatment she claims her parents are receiving in prison. She claims that corrupt prison guards are punishing her parents by turning off the air conditioning and locking down the ice machines while they suffer in the scorching 100-degree heat. Todd, 54, and Julie, 50, two disgraced reality TV stars, were found guilty of a $30 million tax fraud plot in 2022 and given a combined sentence of 19 years in prison. The couple's attorneys have frequently complained about the couple's treatment in jail while criticizing officials for rejecting the couple's request for home confinement last month. In an exclusive video shared with The Gossip Time, their 26-year-old daughter Savannah revealed new information about the dire circumstances Todd and Julie are currently dealing through, claiming that there has been no end to their misery. Savannah claims that her parents have complained about being imprisoned in 100-degree heat, alleging that they have no air conditioning, and that the prison is padlocking the ice machines just to retaliate against the inmates in the video, which was shot at lax. Todd is currently completing a 12-year sentence at the federal prison camp in Pensacola, Florida, while Julie, 50, is completing a 7-year sentence at the federal Medical Center in Lexington, Kentucky. Savannah, who was carrying luggage worth thousands of dollars in Louis Vuitton, said, I mean it's all awful, our federal system is all out of whack and there needs to be reform and change. They ignore the fact that people are dying in these institutions and are living in appalling conditions. The people running the prisons are the corrupt ones, they ought to be inside themselves, was said. Savannah responded, being in conditions where it's 100 degrees inside and having no air conditioning, and the prisons padlocking the ice machines just to retaliate against the inmates, when questioned about the inhumane treatment her parents had endured. I know for a fact that where dad is, she continued, they simply don't where mom is, it's horrible. Savannah, a television star, said she speaks to her parents multiple times a day and that they are both living in open bays without being imprisoned. Savannah added that while she is able to stay in touch with the disgraced couple, her parents have only been able to communicate via email as they feel jail officials are tampering and withholding their mail they are a little bit emailing. What's bad is that there are inmates holding on to their mail. Mail fraud is that. Therefore, she added, they are meddling with federal mail. Savannah said that her parents are adamantly denying any wrongdoing on their part and don't feel any shame at all. They were given a plea deal but declined it because they wouldn't confess something they hadn't done, thus there is unquestionably no responsibility for their conduct. She added, adding that there will be a lot of legal action. The actress claims that Todd and Julie read and write frequently, and she added that their shared goal is to use their efforts to draw attention to the difficulties faced by other prisoners. Savannah stated, There are many people in the system that get lost, and people don't care to hear their tales. Todd and Julie intend to write a tell-all book about their experiences. They might be writing books, who knows, but they are undoubtedly recording every detail of what happens, she said. Savannah also asserted that her parents had received recurrent punishment from jail staff for speaking out about their harrowing experiences there, but she emphasized that they will continue to do so for the greater good. Because of the way I'm revealing things, there is already reprisal, she claimed. They're willing to put up with discomfort, though, if it means that we make a change for the betterment of society. The two are described as feeling completely hopeless about their situation, and terrified at the prospect of losing their most recent appeal since it would mean at least another year of living in their hellhole bars, according to a family insider who spoke to the gossip rag in August. It happened after Julie's husband claimed a fellow prisoner tried to take a picture of him while he was sleeping, according to the couple's lawyer Jay Surgent, who also claimed Julie was threatened by a poisonous snake. He stated, The living conditions are horrible, and it was reported to me that there was a poisonous snake that was got into Julie's cell area, and that had to be embolized and taken out. In an interview with Fox News Digital, as of today, she is sitting in a 100-degree environment with no air conditioning, and no one seems to care, concluded Surgent. Todd Chrisley was singled out because his CARES Act application wasn't processed. Because of his notoriety, someone was permitted to take a photo of him when he was fast asleep. Todd's plumbing is in poor shape, there is mildew and fungus all throughout, and once more no one seems to care. According to a source close to Julie, she was broken down by her brief time in jail and now bitterly regrets the great lengths she went to for fame and fortune. She accuses herself of letting her husband Todd push her into the tax fraud scheme that led to their respective lengthy prison terms. She isn't doing well at all, according to an insider. She feels guilty for having let her family down and cannot imagine how she would spend years behind bars. 
They also mentioned that Julie was now venting to friends about being angry with herself for letting her husband convince her that they would never go to jail for the plot. Julie regrets what she did for fame despite Todd's assurances that they wouldn't go to jail, they added, adding that the ex-reality matriarch has given up hope that they will be successful in their appeal. While her parents are imprisoned, Savannah has been left to take care of her brother and her niece, which she has described as the hardest, most rewarding job. The children are my first concern. The hardest and most gratifying job you'll ever have is being a bonus parent, she declared. Everything was taken away, and I had to rebuild myself, and I'm reconstructing it even better than before.